Okay, so we're going to create a a, um, a beat. We're going to use um, a song from your slides. I've chosen to use circles. I've already, as you can see, created something. Um, I'll just show you what it sounds like. Okay, so as you can see, I've got three tracks, a drum track, a bass track, and the melody, the guitar track. So I'm going to show you how I did that from scratch. So first thing I did was, I'll actually delete all these tracks. So I'll show you how to do this. Um, so first thing I did was created a new track. Well, actually, I didn't create a new track. Because the first thing I did was use the drum loop, which over here, the little loop symbol and I typed in drums and I had a look for a loop and I chose acoustic drums the acoustic drum track that's the one you just heard so I'll drag that over and that'll give me so many bars now you can you want at least eight bars so drag this marker until you get at least to the eight bar mark I'll take it up to the ten bar mark and then of course you can drag your loop make it as long as or as short as you want so there's my bass track, take that back to the start and create a new track. Now I'll lay down the drum track, sorry, the bass track I should say, for the bass track. Now of course you can use the onboard keyboard to help you play the notes, otherwise you can download the Bono template, cut that out and paste it over your keys. So I'll be using that template. Um, so we'll choose a bass guitar sound for this track and we go over here to bass i'll choose perhaps a synth bass sound or maybe even just the oh you can either go electric or synth let's try a synthy sort of a sound yeah that one's not too bad it's a bit distorted it's a bit yeah that one might do i'll choose the cab bass this time around so I click on that as you can see, my cab bass is there. So now if I play a bass note, so my, if you look at your slides, the first bass note is a C, and there it is. It's actually a bit too short, so I might change that. I want it to have a bit more oomph, a bit more depth. So I'll go back to bass and maybe choose... Let's try the cubic bass. Let's try that one. So, yeah, that'd be nice, boys. So we go back to the start, press record now. I forgot to mention, I set my tempo to 118 and I put my metronome on. That's going to help me with the counting and make sure I'm in time with everything. So, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. F. F. G. C. Right, and there's my bass line. So I'll take that back to the start, and we're now going to add the melody. So I think I had for the melody a guitar sound. Um, you can put whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to stick with the guitar sound. Actually, guitar sound for now, which is up the top. And I'll just go acoustic. Um, yeah, just an acoustic guitar will be fine for me. And we go back to the start of the track and press record. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. And there it is. So if I go back to the start and we'll have a listen. And there it is. Good luck, boys. Have fun.